Now, living in Pennsylvania, a certain thing that we have a little bit of a hard time trying to keep nice and neat is our roads. They're bumpy, nasty. So having a really low car is a bit of a pain. Well, in LVP, if you have bumpy roads, there's a way to fix that. Now, it, what if you haven't touched your car at all, and you want to put it in some nice action film, but you haven't done anything to it, and you get keep getting, and you're not someone who is very pleased easily. Well, what about that? Well, I'll just shift in a second, and you can already hear some very uncomforting sounds from the road, thumping. Oh, oh, and the car is kind of broke. Uh, it's not looking very comfortable. Uh, oh. Alright, well, taking that smooth, that went very uncomfortable for a low car like this lowered TT. But, how can we fix this? Well, there's two ways we can do this. Now, we can do the easy way, which is the de-physicalizer. Now, what this does is gets rid of the physics for that, uh, that piece. Now, for some reason, it still keeps the weight and physical properties. Uh, the, yeah, weight and physical properties... Except, it can't be touched. Now we just take this car, and completely, not completely, but make enough of this ghosted, so then it's at least drivable. Get all the bits that are nice and low. <laughs> all right, you think that looks enough? Eh, we'll hit it a little more. No, I didn't. Alright, that looks good. And then once you back out, it should be all fine. But here's one thing. I don't want to try the defiscalizer on the suspension. So for the suspension, we're going to take the physics tweaker and slap it here. Whoops. Come on. Yes. Then turn collisions off, don't touch the weight, or else you'll ruin it. You'll ruin it. Alright. And then, go out for a drive, it should drive nice and comforting. Alright, that was probably the interior that was dragging. Yeah, the interior's dragging. Alright, let me take care of that. Mm. So I only want to get all parts that you think might drag. And then at least have your roof normal so then you can walk on that. And then we'll just speed around this. Look, not a single disruption. Except the wheels are a little off from landing and stuff like that, but uh, uh they'll fix themselves. Alright, now what if you don't want to do that? You don't want to risk your car like this. But, or, hold on. Or, because when you do this... You can't add on to it, like, exterior-wise. You can't put body kits on, because then it just becomes a complete mess. So if you plan on keeping the car completely like this, just do this, so then you can probably make your level a bit, a bit easier to run. But what if... You want to do it another way. You want to be able to add on to your car, but you don't want it to be all messed up. That's what I did with the Skyline here. We get off... 
preview, you can see it's got quite a bit of acne. Now what all this acne is, are physical tweakers with collisions off, but the weight is untouched, so then the car runs normally. Now yes, you can kind of walk through it, but you could probably fix that by putting on some, uh, on something, so then you can't walk through it. Like, just, uh, have the, have all the, uh, things turned off when you're not in the car, and then when you're in the car, turn them on, so then they'll be properly working. But anyway, all like that, and if we go onto the defysicalizer, not a single thing is touched. Go to preview. I have a feeling I didn't put any on the axles. I didn't put any on the axles. Fix that. That's what was what the sound was. And go again. Not a sound. And it runs perfectly fine. Now, I don't know why. You're able to go through the freaking wall. I don't understand why that happens now. I don't know. An LBP update of some sort. Yes, I see a massive exhaust cannon. Alright, gonna save this because I needed to modify it. God. And slap that in the manual shifters. Get rid of this one. And got what we want. New Jamal, Skyline, GTR. We want a capital S. Alright. Alright, would you call this hoarding, guys? I don't know. If you liked the video and this helped you a lot, please like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to. And if you want to see some more from this channel, please subscribe. We'd really enjoy it. When I say we, I mean me. Uh, talking wrong. Alright, I have no idea how many cars this is. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84. <laughs> Shoot! 94. Oh, we yeah, have almost 100 cars. Oh. Guys, what'd you call this hoarding? I think this would go under hoarding, because I know this was my 80th car, and then we've kind of made some since then. Even though some are duplicates. But, in that case, I have a lot of cars, and I hope to make quite one banging movie. Or at least fix some of these cars down here to get them properly rolling. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you around. Peace. Oh.